the maritime industry today is moving toward smart ships. Uh, the benefits are obvious when it comes to managing the operations. If we take uh, an average of consumption of the, the, uh, the operations cost of, of a ship, we can find that 46% of it is uh, fuel consumption. Uh, we have 10% repairs, 10% insurance and 10% staff. Uh, so when it comes to uh, the fuel consumption, uh, having a continuous uh, communication and connection, getting the uh, minute per minute weather forecast, uh, the status of the routes, the uh, wind, etc. Uh, that can uh, optimize the route. And today, we are even not speaking about uh, blockchains and uh, AI. We are just providing that information to the captain, showing him the routes with the future. Uh, that can be even 10 times faster and more processing power on board. That can be even better. But today, with only this, we can save up to 7% of the fuel consumption. Then uh, we speak about the maintenance. Also having uh, a big uh, internet connection that can allow you to transmit video. You can introduce the augmented reality and you can do remote maintenance where you don't have to wait to, to reach the port and you, have, you don't have to make uh, any expenses of flight, expenses to uh, engineers to come to that port to, to change things. So this is, uh, we say, about uh, remote maintenance and we speak also about uh, preventive maintenance. Then you can schedule all that. Uh, we speak also about the insurance. I'm sure that the directions now going with the insurance where the insurance for connected boats will be cheaper because you will have more data about them. You can know that, okay, you have that, so uh, you are doing your maintenance, you are doing that, you are doing that. You are providing uh, telemedicine to your staff, etc., etc., etc. So this uh, uh, line of expense also can go less. We know that uh, there are discussions already with insurance. And the last thing is uh, the staff. So what you are giving to the crew is uh, today, do you need to give them internet? Well, it is still uh, pros and cons. That's what is obvious today is that one of the major factor to retain your high qualified staff is to give them connection. It's something new. You cannot bring internet connection and throw it to the boat and expect that everything will be fine. You have to care about the security, the cyber security is very important. You have to care about the destruction of the staff. But all these matters are technically very easy to solve. So uh, you can, I would say, you can accommodate the uh, internet to the staff and keep the, uh, only the uh, advantages of it. The same thing, you said it's very expensive because if you give them internet, they will use a lot. That's not the main thing. You can give them a limited data package. So you tell them you have one GB, the same thing you have on shore in your phones. Today you have five GB or 10 GB. You can give them five GB, one GB, whatever. But you give them and then they will accommodate. Uh, then after that, you can speak about the cybersecurity. Yes, the cybersecurity, we can also make the most powerful uh, firewalls that are existing in any office here, that the same policies you have in your office can be implemented on your boat. So all these are, I would say, arguments for those who want just to say, let's delay this. Uh, but the technical solution is available and this is all what we are about to make it easy to the ship owner to say, if you really want, there is a way. Today is the policy you have to have someone in every shipping company in care of the policy. That, that's very important thing. You yeah. cannot just come and throw something new yeah. without uh, taking care of it, without uh, managing it well. Then it becomes a problem.